Hello everyone. I'm so glad you could join me on this Tuesday for our daily devotion. Today I'm going to read from Philippians chapter 4 verses 5 through 7. The Lord is at hand. Be not anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ. For all of these verses in our hearts, it strengthens of beauty. We find in these verses there are two commands. There's a negative and a positive. First, Paul calls the Philippians to be anxious for nothing. And second, he calls them in everything to let your requests be made known to God. Be anxious for nothing, but instead go to God with everything. That is the simple center of this passage. First, the prime reason comes at the very end of the verse 5. The Lord is at hand. This is why any of what we read in verse 6 and 7 is possible. The Lord, the living Jesus Christ, is at hand. He is nearby. He is with us just as he promised to be in Matthew 28, 20, that says, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. And his actual presence in our life is the only reason that Paul can follow up with verse 6 and say, be anxious for nothing. In other words, we don't need to be afraid, worried, alarmed, or frightened about anything, because all things work together for the good of those who love God. So offer your worries and anxiety to God in prayer. Turn them over to Him. Trust God to take care of those matters that bother you. I know it's very hard to be that way. So many times we ask God to take these things from us, and then when next morning we get up and we're ready to just take it all back and say, it's okay, Lord, I need that back. I need to worry about that a little bit more. Does that sound familiar? We need to hand them over to Him and to trust that He'll take care of these matters and do these as many times needed to to just surrender to God, to let go with prayer and supplication or earnestly with the thanksgiving of knowing God will take care of your worries, will give you peace, which is priceless. You know, what is the peace of God? The harmony and calmness of body and mind and spirit, and trusting in the power and grace of God. That's what it is. To surpass all understanding is the peace that knowing that no matter what life throws at us, we can still have joy when we know that our victory lies in Jesus and not in our circumstances. And the way to guard your heart and mind and to protect against the noise of the world is to decline your ears to the voice of God. And you do this by getting into His Word, filtering all you hear through His Word. All our peace is bound up in the cross, and sin-bearing wrath, absorbing righteousness, achieving sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross is the work by which we are saved. And it is that application of the redemption and revelation that we receive the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. There is no anxiety, no fear in this life that will not be stilled by clearer knowledge and a dearer love of the crucified and risen Savior. Philippians 4, 6, 7 has been Danny's verses for a long time. Danny has gone through cancer for seven years now, and he clings to those verses. He shared these verses with his niece, Tracy, that recently lost her life to lung cancer at the age of 49. Danny also shared these verses with my brother, Mitch, who just last week had to have heart surgery. I'd like to be able to say that it's easy to go through tough times and that I myself handle my trials with grace and faith, but that's not true. The case is, I'm human, and sometimes my emotions act up first. But I can say I am quick to find peace in God through His Word, especially these two verses in Philippians. So, you know, when life's trials hit us and we feel anxious, we feel doubt, worry, stress, all this creeps up in, 
just breathe. Just breathe in the Holy Spirit. Remember all the times that God has seen you through some really dark times. Pray. Tell God what has you worried, anxious, and ask Him to take over the situation and finally let go. You don't need to check in the next day to see how things are going and think you need to, that you can do better or that you need it back. Give Him all your concerns no longer. Worry about the issues. And you will experience God's perfect peace.